Hello everybody, my name is Adam Bergman. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you've been following my channel for a while, I started a brand new series where I'm on a goal, a path, an absolute mission to reach a $1 million cryptocurrency portfolio. And in doing so, I'm doing it the time-honored tradition of DCAing dollar cost averaging, where I buy $50 a day of various tokens, coins, projects, and NFTs in cryptocurrency. And I document this daily so that you, my friends, subscribers, and family can get what you want from whatever I'm doing. None of this is financial advice. And in today's buy, I must go with the Hedera hash graph. I'm going to be buying and DCAing into HBAR. Why? We have massive news about a new CBDC project that's being built in coordination with the Central Bank of Australia. And guess what? One of the pilot programs is currently being built on the Hedera Hashgraph. Now, I hate to do price predictions, but I'm going to try to give you some sort of explanation of where I think Hedera Hashgraph can possibly be in 2025. Why 2025? Because 2025 is understood in the crypto community, right or wrong, that that's going to be the peak of the next bull run. And we believe the next bull run is going to start somewhere in the course of a year from where we are right now, right around the Bitcoin halving of around May 2024. You should take everything I'm saying with a grain of salt and everything that every YouTuber is saying with a grain of salt, because even if you are the best investor ever and have a proven track record, it's it doesn't mean whatever happened in the past is guaranteed to happen in the future. This is all for entertainment and fun. And just to give you some type of idea based on some factors of where I think the price of Hedera Hashgraph can go. If you're unfamiliar with Hedera Hashgraph, Hedera Hashgraph is something called a DAG, which stands for a Directic Acyclic Graph. It is similar but completely different than a blockchain. I know it sounds like an oxymoron what I just said, similar but completely different. A blockchain takes blocks of information and it's chained together. While a DAG, a Directic Acyclic Graph, takes a bunch of different information, spits them out in no particular order, and then the consensus protocol, in this case called the Gossip About Gossip Protocol, takes everything and puts it into order. And this is called the Hedera Hashgraph. Hedera Hashgraph is super cheap to use, sub one penny, always and forever. So Hedera Hashgraph has finality of three to five seconds. It's super environmentally friendly. And the best thing about it, it is ridiculously scalable. Currently, it could do 10,000 plus transactions per second. Later on, we're going to throttle up and theoretically can easily reach hundreds of thousands, even 1 million plus transactions per second. Hadara Hashgraph uses the very, very friendly language of Solidity, which is the gold standard in languages for Web3 developers. And of course, it is EVM compatible, so anybody developing on Ethereum can come on over to Hadara Hashgraph. Remember the word Ethereum because I'm going to do a little bit of a comparison between Hadara Hashgraph and Ethereum, not the footing foundation and fundamentals of each project because we know that the Hadara Hashgraph straight up snuffs the shit out of Ethereum and Ethereum cannot hold a candle to Hadara hash graph in my personal opinion, but I do want to compare the price and trying to give you a price prediction for 2025, all in good fun and entertainment. I'm going to go over to my desk right now and show you about the CBDCs. Before I do, can I ask you for a favor? My channel is not monetized. I have over a thousand subscribers, but I still need around 700 hours of watch time. So if you're watching this, please watch to the end. Please don't double speed this. And even if you're playing this video in the background, if you've been following my channel and you really do want to do me a solid and you really want to help me, please watch the entire length of this video so that I can possibly get monetized because all the videos that I've been doing on this channel so far are completely for zero. I don't make any money on it and I really would like to get monetized and compensated for all the work I put in for you wonderful, fine ladies and gentlemen. Let's go over to my desk and go over the news article where the CBDC of Australia is running a pilot program on the Hadara Hashgraph. The very first thing I want to show you is the transactions per second, over 700 transactions per second on Hadara Hashgraph, currently north of 4.8 billion, nearly 4.9 billion. We're right around that 5 billion mark, and we're literally racking up transactions like freaking crazy. On my other channel, I actually explained the difference between an HCS and an HCA. HCS is the Hadara Consensus Service. And these are real transactions that are currently being done by the HCS. 
as opposed to the HCA, which is the Hadara consensus algorithm, which is actually what's proving the actual transactions of the Hadara hashgraph, which I mentioned momentarily ago. Now I want to show you an article that just came out today, and I'm going to link this article to the Hadara Hashgraph. And wait a moment. At the end of this video, I will be giving you a price prediction for 2025. This article just came out. Australia's central bank taps MasterCard and others to test CBDC use cases. The project will take part in the country's central bank digital currency pilot expected to wrap later this year. Now you might say, well, Adam, that's nice, but where is Hadara? And you can't really find the word Hadara anywhere over here. And then I'm going to go to LinkedIn. If you go to LinkedIn, this is Rob Allen. Rob Allen works at Hadara Sustainable Impact Web3 Innovations and Investments. He says, I am delighted that the great team at Not Centralized were among the few selected to join the Reserve Bank of Australia's Central Bank Digital Currency Initiative and even more delighted that they have chosen to build on Hadara. So Rob Allen represents Hadara. Not Centralized was working as one of the pilot programs. So there's a couple of different pilot programs, including like MasterCard, for example. And Not Centralized chooses Hadara Hashgraph to build their CBDC pilot program on. Not Centralized says, we are excited to announce that we've been named as one of the pilot projects for the Reserve Bank of Australia's Central Bank Digital Currency Initiative with the Digital Finance CRC. Our project, which involves using trade flows for construction payments in an aged care facility, will be one of the first among other projects here to test the capabilities of the CBDC. So they already have a project that's built where they're taking payments, construction payments in an aged care facility, and they're going to use that in coordination with the CBDC that they're building on Hadara Hashgraph. Really dope. We are honored to be part of the initiative, which also includes esteemed names such as the Commonwealth Bank, ANZ, Canvas, Manuva, FinTech Organizations of the Year, MasterCard, and others. I really want you guys to focus on the word MasterCard because most people don't know any of these other companies, including myself. That's why this is so, so important. MasterCard, Hadara Hashgraph, both are building pilot programs for CBDCs. Or let me rephrase, Hadara Hashgraph is not building the pilot program, it's being built on top of the Hadara Hashgraph. Emerging technologies, we are proud to be part of the in innovative project that will help shape the future of payments and financial infrastructure of Australia. Looking forward to collaborating with Hadara's Rob Allen. Very, very, very nice. If anybody has had any doubt about the Hadara Hashgraph, I just wanted to point something out to the Hadara Hashgraph governing council members. These are going to be in the future 39 of the most powerful companies, universities across of fintech and across of legal and across of a bunch of different areas of expertise throughout the entire world in several different continents and several different countries. These are leaders in their field and the Hadara Hashgraph are taking a proof of concept, which is the Hadara Hashgraph itself, and putting it into a proof of action, which they're actually using the Hadara Hashgraph to do whatever they need to do. Hadara Hashgraph also has Google as one of their governing council members. Google is the third largest company, if I'm not mistaken, in the world right now. Apple, Microsoft, Google, if I'm not mistaken. And the next Hadara meeting will take place at Google Cloud headquarters in Sunnyvale, California. When? May 19th through May 21st. For anybody that doesn't understand that, that's a big freaking deal. Anytime your name is associated with Google, anytime, and Google is actually hosting you, that means that it's a real deal. Google is definitely committing to being a Hadara Governing Council member. Now I want to try to give you a little bit of a price prediction of where we are right now and where we could possibly be in 2025. Again, this is just for fun and entertainment. This is a really cool website, guys, where you can compare one cryptocurrency against another. If you take the Hadara Hashgraph and you compare it to Ethereum, you can see that it has 104x to grow or $6.74 a current Hadara H bar. Do I really think that it can 100x in the next bull run? Absolutely, I do believe that it can 100x in the next bull run. Remember, Ethereum is nowhere near its all time high. Ethereum is definitely at a lower point than where it was before. But let's compare Hadara Hashgraph to a more uh, comparative cryptocurrency, let's say one that has absolutely no utility, although you don't like Ethereum, Ethereum definitely has a lot of utility. Let's compare the Hadara Hashgraph to something like Dogecoin. 
even at Dogecoin's price, we still have a 5.77x to grow in the future. Do I think that we're going to grow 5.77x in the bull run? Absolutely. freaking lutely I think that there's no way that we're not going to be above this number. And if you compare us to BNB, that's a 25x at $1.62 in the next bull run. Well, then I made you some really cool comparisons and I spoke a little bit about the Hedera Hashgraph and you have a better understanding how powerful Hedera Hashgraph is with its amazing capabilities. Let's talk about a real price prediction of where I think Hedera Hashgraph can be in the future. I'm going to give you such a crazy number. I think the range is somewhere between $1 and $5, if you really did ask me, that's where I think it's going to land. I don't think in the next bull run, Hadara HBAR is going to be anywhere less than $1. And I don't think it's really going to go much higher than that $5 per HBAR. In reality, if there is a lot of applicability, if there is a lot of utility, and a lot of people are building on top of it, like the CBDC, and there's more HCSs, Hadara Consensus Services, possibly Hadara HBAR can go even higher than that in the future. However, I don't want anybody to get their hopes up. And in reality, probably the Hadara hash graph, the H and in reality, the Hadara H bar is probably going to be somewhere around that $2 to $3 per H bar in the future. Again, take everything that I'm saying with a grain of salt. This is just some fun loving comparison. And in reality, whatever happened in the past does not necessarily guarantee whatever is going to happen in the future. And that can mean to the upside or the downside. Maybe Hadara Hashgraph is going to flip Ethereum. Maybe Hadara Hashgraph is going to flip BNB. The capabilities are there to absolutely do that. Now, is the usability going to be there? Is the retail investor going to buy in? And does Hadara Hashgraph even need the retail investor to believe in them? Because at the end of the day, the Hadara Hashgraph, if I had to throw a number on it, around 70 or 80% of the Hadara Hashgraph is built for institutional adoption, for business adoption, for commercial and enterprise use. And if that happens, then yes, Hadara Hashgraph can flip Ethereum in the future. Do I think any of these projects are going to flip Ethereum in the future? It's going to be very, very difficult. And in my personal view, I do believe it's going to be Bitcoin, then it's going to be Ethereum, and then it's up for grabs the next 3 to 10th spot. And if Hadara Hashgraph can get anywhere in the top 10 or even in the top 20, we all are going to be okay and we all are going to make a shit ton of money. And if you guys want to know a little bit more about what I'm buying and some more information about cryptocurrency, please click on this video down below. Thank you very much and have a fantastic day.